So in this video, I'd like to address one uh, problem that's commonly reported to me about easy ballistics, and that is in multiplayer. Uh, many people have problem that their shooting direction doesn't match the, their aim direction, like this. So uh, this is not actually a problem with uh, easy ballistics as such. So let me show you what is the actual actual underlying issue, and that's okay. Let me replace dedicated server with a listen server, and as you can see here, if I aim, let's say down, the server doesn't actually see the other player aiming down. This is not something that's replicated by default. And Easy Ballistics uh, uses server position uh, of the EP barrel to calculate where the bullets will go. So if it's straight forward on the server, all clients, all players will see it going straight horizontal. So there are actually two ways to solve this. So the easy fix is to is to simply enable hold on a second client side client side aim that's right here and when this is enabled uh, the aim direction of the of the client that owns this actor will be used instead of server uh, aim and as you can see by simply turning it on it fixes the problem. However, this isn't the ideal solution because uh, this uh, introduces extra data that needs to be sent over the network. So um, a better solution is to, uh, instead of using this, uh, to actually uh, replicate the uh, vertical aim animation in blueprint or in code or just outside of easy ballistics okay so let me show you a quick example of how to do that let's go back to our player i'm gonna turn this back off and as you can see in this setup the weapon is attached to the camera and Again, uh, the movement of the camera isn't replicated. So uh, what we're going to instead do is uh, detach this mesh and have it connected straight to the root component, the capsule of the, of the character. And when you run this, the aim won't actually actually follow the the camera. Okay, let me quickly add a parameter that will instead control the aim. So every time we update the vertical position or when we receive the vertical aim event, we are going to create a Bolt parameter and let's call it vertical aim and we're going to get the rotation of the camera let's split this up Every time this is updated, we are going to set the pitch as the vertical aim. And our static mesh in the main event graph, every tick we are going to set its rotation.
to the vertical angle. Kind of like this. Let's see if it works. And yes, I uh, didn't quite get the the offset right, but you get the point. Except we are probably going to have to replicate the yaw rotation of the cap saw. Hold on a second. I'm not going off a script, so sometimes things like this happen. So let's see where this is. Okay, I'm already using the yaw. I'm using everything except the pitch. Oh yes, sorry about that. I'm going to have to get the yo component from the capsule. Okay, like this. So now we have it working. Again, except the offset. That's just weak. I don't need to do this for the tutorial. Okay, let's save it. Let's turn this into a clock graph so it doesn't take up space. Okay. But this by itself doesn't uh, really fix the problem. Uh, when you play in multiplayer, this doesn't uh, yet replicate to the server. So we go back to our, our aim and we are going to create a, a new uh, remote call, remote procedure call. And it's done by creating a new event. Let's call it vertical aim. And this one will be run on server. And every time we set this vertical aim to the input, we're going to call this and let's add a parameter to it. That's going to be a fault. Like this. And let's send this new vertical aim to the server via this uh, remote procedure. And of course, once it arrives on the server, we are going to set the vertical aim there as well, like this. And if I did everything correctly, yep, as you can see, the aim direction is now properly replicated.